Welcome back to S Brothers guys. As you can hear, my voice is a lot more epic today because I'm getting over a cold. In fact, my voice was actually completely gone before and now it's here. So I've been meaning to review this AquaView, the AquaView 5.0 Revolution Pro, the recordable one. But either one is basically the same camera, just one has recordability, one doesn't. You can find tons of specs, tons of um, reviews on this camera but what you can't find is a lot of underwater footage and for me that was super important I wanted to be able to know what that underwater footage looked like to know if I wanted to buy it so I'm here to help you guys out with that one we took it to a medium clarity lake so it wasn't like super clear it wasn't like if you're around the area like Lake Winnebago where it's super cloudy it was like right in between we were in like 13 feet of water so it was your average conditions I did have it on another lake with super cloudy water and 24 feet of water. Uh, you won't see that footage because it was actually just, it was unusable. So if you're looking for something even more clear, uh, I did used to have the 715C. I know I'm not reviewing that right now. I got rid of that because I wanted something smaller and more recordable. But uh, the 715C AquaView is incredible for its footage as far as being able to see in um, lower quality water. A little bulkier. This is so much lighter. But, uh, let's quick go over the specs because I know you guys like to hear that. But we're going to make that snappy because what we all want to see is just what does this look like underwater. Let's check it out. Let's try this new voice out. The AquaView Micro Revolution 5.0 Pro. It has a 5 inch high resolution waterproof screen. The integrated camera reel system with an adjustable infrared lighting system and DVR recording also with RCA video output. On screen water temperature and camera direction with 60 feet of cable that has depth indication. Rechargeable lithium ion battery with on screen indicator. Also it's completely portable. Multi seasonal. Alright guys. I decided that I wanted to watch this footage with you guys. Um, just a few notes. Uh, this is in medium clarity water, 12 feet down, medium sunshine until evening time. Um, the jig you're seeing right now, that's me. I'm about a foot and a half, two feet away. Then there's going to be another one every once in a while you see that also gets hit. That's Joshua. He's four feet away. So you have, you know, a little bit of visual visual sight that you can see like here he's going he's going oh yeah I love seeing that that's so, so fun um, the underbelly side of fish there's nothing like fishing with a camera um, if you are nice if you are fishing in like uh, darker cloudier water I'd recommend the 715c if you're actually fishing fishing unless you're just like scouting and you want to see what's at the bottom like is there weed structure or kind of structure uh, but for medium quality water I feel like this is pretty good especially for the portability side of things so yeah come on take it oh you little dink you didn't deserve it anyway <laughs> oh well I guess he's gonna choose Joshua's anyways huh oh I got one Take it. It's a nice bass. Fun catching bass through the ice. Kind of was playing with it, nibble, nibble. Then he spit it out. Oh, there another one goes. Yeah! Bite it! Bite it! Guess he didn't take it, but that one did. Watch that. Oh yeah, belly up, belly up. It was a hot and heavy day that day. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do us all a favor, hit like and subscribe. That would be awesome. Thanks so much.